Hi. It's been a while, but it's nice to see you again. As Rose from Titanic once said, Poor, Poor little, little rich, rich girl. girl. What does she know, does about, she misery? know about misery? But she also said, It's, it's been 84 years. years. Which is a more relevant quote. Um, because it's... That, why did I say the first quote? So this is actually really strange. Because it's the first time I'm using this mic with this setup. So you know, just, just sit back, relax, stare deep into my eyes while I speak to you. And let daddy take care of it. Why? I'm guessing this is the part where I actually start the, the vlog rant thing, right? So in the past several years, more and more people have commented and left messages to me uh, randomly telling me that I was an influential part of their young adult lives and or childhood, which is scary if you think about it. I comprehend the idea behind it, but I don't get it. How can I, a stranger, let's be honest, I am a stranger to you. How could I influence you in such a way? I look back on my own life. I never had someone who I watched or followed or listened to online that impacted me. I guess it's because internet personalities weren't really a big thing back then until YouTube came around. I mean, sure, people had their own thing online with a small following, but it was mostly contained to their own personal websites. It was YouTube that really made it more accessible, a central hub to see what everyone else was doing, just jumping from one channel to another. It was so community-based back then. I think that's one of the things that are missing from today's So Is this the oral history of YouTube all of a sudden? What? Yeah, the wine cone. Back at it again with his off-topicness. But, as you can tell, with a lot less sexual innuendos and pervertedness. Hey, we all change. But to be uh, perfectly honest with you, I wouldn't mind if you did a little slip and slide into my DMs and I'd and sent me a picture of your penis and or v uh, v v vag vaginal canal what yeah that's right i said i misspoke what of it yeah most of the time when people say vagina they mean the outside but I, it actually means inside and now i'm actually just saying the in the canal oh my why why did why am i is this even appropriate for youtube these days i have i have no idea so i guess this is the part of the video where you're thinking either holy shit, he hasn't changed one bit i love it or holy shit, he hasn't changed one bit is he still being in character or even holy shit, he hasn't changed one bit and I don't know what to make of this, and it confuses me. Hopefully it's the last one, because I've always loved messing with people's heads. It's one of the core pillars of what the wine cone was, or even is. Mind f***ing, subverting expectations, and not being afraid of being a f***ing weirdo. I guess. Look, I don't know. I just made up those core pillars, so it's subject to change. I apologize. I've just never really thought about it. But... What do you think the all-encompassing nature of the wine cone is all about? Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I hate myself. Why would I even say... Just, just stop. Don't leave a... Oh, I mean, how messed up are some of you people? Because of me. I was a freak back then, you know? And watching this right now, you probably think I'm still a freak. But did you know that I'm also a freak in bed? Well, at least that's what my wife tells me. There is no wife. It's my ex-wife that told me that. Also, not... I don't have one of those either. But my girlfriend is non-existent. The final recap is that I may have influenced your life. I find it strange. I accept it. And I hope you find that acceptable. And hopefully you're not actually like, why won't the wine cone understand that he had an impact on my life that was influential and positive? And why would he release a video now after being missing for so many years? Because it has awoken something deep inside of me that I thought I had buried long ago. In fact, I didn't even remember about this until this very moment. And it has, it, it has 
risen out of my body and it is now in my brain and in my heart and it is an obsession i am fully obsessed with him now once more and i will do whatever it takes for him to notice me to talk to me to be with me to eventually marry me and we will live together forever in a small cozy house with a white picket fence and our children and our dog and our dog children if we were to become mad scientists who crossbred different animals, that is. But we wouldn't because that is unethical and we're good people. But we would be mad scientists one year because for Halloween, of course. And, and we'll take family photos and wear white lab coats and crazy gray hair. Ah, oh, it'll be fun. And, and come Christmas, we'll, we'll celebrate it by buying a tree, a real tree, not one of those plastic ones, because it's actually more sustainable for our environment if we bought a real one, and sustainable for our lives, for our future. And come spring, we'll be kids again, and we'll dance in the rain and, and jump in puddles, and in the summer, we'll wander open fields and pick wild flowers. Hopefully not the, the poisonous kind, or we'll just die there. But it'll be morbidly romantic, wouldn't it? That is, until our dog finds us and runs back to the house to alert the kids, and they come back and see their parents dead. Yeah, so hopefully you're not thinking that. 